Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button down below and do me a favor, punch the bell notification because when I upload videos, you'll be first to be notified. Also, if you're watching on Facebook, thank you for watching. I always appreciate a growing audience. If you like this material, please hit the like button. And if you find it useful, please share with a friend. If you need to get in contact with me, please contact me through my website, www.totalwellnessdupage.com. And if you have a question, you could either ask it down below or you could schedule a 15 minute free consultation with me. Thanks for watching, enjoy the video. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm gonna answer a question that I was working with a patient recently, and he was worried about elevated glucose levels, insulin resistant, insulin involvement, and he's very stressed out. So, cortisol and insulin. Cortisol, otherwise known as a glucocorticoid, it's stored in the adrenal glands. Now, the adrenal glands are our stress, are our stress gland. They're located on top of the kidneys. They're about the size of a quarter or your thumb. And they're involved in maintaining how our body regulates stressors. Now, stressors, that could be physical stress or it could be emotional stress. And one thing that we have to, I have to note is that emotional stress hits our body about 80 times greater than physical stress. Okay? So, glucocorticoids has three different functions. It helps elevate blood sugar levels in three different ways. One, glucagon. Two, human growth hormone. And three, Cortisol also immobilizes energy stores for fuel. So this is in times of stress, okay, in between meals. How do we get, how do we get the energy source for fuel? Through, again, glucocorticoid. Also, it, it, it inhibits the immune response. It inhibits the immune system. For example, this is when in times of stress, what happens to us? We're more up for sickness, illnesses, and diseases, especially around the holiday times. Or if you're really, really stressed out, What's going to happen? You'll get sick because cortisol, one of the functions of glucocorticoids is to work with the immune response. So how does that impact insulin? Okay, so what happens, remember, when we have, in between, when we have a meal, okay, we have circling increased blood, blood glucose levels. It elevates. Insulin is released to lower it. And in between meals, the function of cortisol is to increase blood sugar. So you have this teeter-totter effect. However, in times of stress, a lot of stress, you're gonna have cortisol spikes, okay? When you, have cortisol calls, when you have cortisol spikes, we have a lot of circulating blood glucose. What happens? Insulin has to be released from the pancreas to lower it, okay? Normally, muscle glycogen gets broken down. Now, glycogen is stored glucose. We store 75% of our glycogen in the muscle. We store 25% of it in the liver. Okay, it's stored as glycogen, which is stored energy. Okay, so normally muscle glycogen gets broken down. It increases the glucose levels, okay, and helps mobilize the glucose for energy. However, in times of chronic stress, this mechanism gets defaulted. What happens? The liver gets involved. The pathway alters it involves the liver to make sugar in a process called gluconeogenesis, makes new sugar. However, in times of chronic stress, remember chronic stress, you have cortisol spikes, so then you have to have insulin spikes. When you have insulin spikes, what's happening is that the function of insulin, there's actually two functions of insulin, to lower blood glucose and also store fat. So if you're not utilizing that blood glucose, or if you're, what's happening is that there's too much circulating insulin, you're gonna get belly fat. This is how you get belly fat in times of stress. This is also how you may be able to get diabetes. First, you get insulin resistance, resistant because what's happening, then the cells are becoming more insulin resistant because there's too much circulating insulin. And also too, it's gonna to elevate your cholesterol. So this is, you know, chronic stress. So this is how in times of chronic stress, how it, affect, it could affect our insulin levels. Remember, in times of chronic stress, you have these cortisol spikes, it elevates the blood glucose, you have to have insulin released from the pancreas to lower it. 
And that's how cortisol and insulin, they work together. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Be good.